In this next series, we're going to be talking about a library called Testing Library. It is quite similar to View Test Utils. I've been using it a lot lately and I really like it, so that's why we're going to have a little discussion about it and talk about some of the differences between this and View Test Utils. It is a bit more opinionated and I like the opinions it brings to the table, so let's have a look at that and see how it might work. To save a little bit of time, I created a new project using the View CLI. I chose View 3, Babel and TypeScript for my options and I chose Unit Testing with Jest. What we're going to do to start off is update this code to use testing library and then take a look at some of the differences and why those might be relevant or important. The first thing I'm going to do is install testing library so we can use yarn add. I'm going to grab testing library and we want to get the view integration. So that's going to be at view and we want to make sure we get the latest branch which is for view three using at next. We also want to get one more library which is going to be testing library slash jest dom and we're going to talk about what this does in just a moment. So let's go ahead and install those and we're going to look at updating our test here to use our testing library instead of view testing utils. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this shallow mount. You don't use shallow mount, you use a different method in testing library. So let's go ahead and update our imports to grab testing library view. And then we're going to grab the render method. And this is going to let you render your components. This is the one and only way of rendering things in testing library. So let's go ahead and update this one to be render. It doesn't return a wrapper anymore. It does return an object, but it contains very different methods for a very different reason. So I'm going to delete that one as well. And you can see the options are the same here. Testing library's view integration actually is on top of view test utils. So some of the mounting options are going to be similar, such as props. Now that we've updated that, I'm going to comment out the assertion and just run my tests in, in watch mode, just so we get that nice quick feedback loop. So let's go ahead and do yarn test unit and put it in watch mode. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and update our assertion. So we're going to assert that this text is appearing in the document. And there's a number of ways you can do this. The first one is to go ahead and destructure the return value from render. And this has a number of actions the user can take. And we're going to talk about what that means in just a moment, but let's go ahead and see our assertion. In this case, we want to use the get by text selector. And this is going to let us get any element in the DOM using the text. So now we have that, we can go ahead and update our assertion. Let's just say get by text, and we're going to get by the text message and we're going to say this should be existing. So for now, I'm just going to say to be truthy. Then we're going to see a, see a more idiomatic way of doing this. If I save this one off, it is going to hopefully pass. And sure enough, it does pass. But what testing library likes you to do is use more expressive matches. And that's why we installed that other library, which is testing library just DOM. I'm going to go ahead and import that one now and show you how that one works. What this is going to do is give us a number of extra assertions on our expect statement. In this case, we're looking for a DOM node, which contains a text message, and we're asserting that it to be in the document. And that's going to assert that this element exists in the DOM somewhere. And that's actually the wrong selector, to be in the document. And if we save this one off, everything is going to continue passing. And we've written our very first testing library test. There are many different ways to select methods or to select elements. Get by text is just one. And in the next lecture, we're going to talk about some of the other options and how they're a little bit different.